you're saying point. right. Oh, right. I see what you're saying. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. And yes, Christina, you always have permission to record me unless I specifically say, Christina, can you turn it off for a minute? We're going to talk about something private. Okay, great. That's really good. Right. I got that recorded. But um, so <laughs> you know, for K- Kathy Duncan again. Yeah, Kathy Duncan. I don't know where she is today, um, and it's a common name. So I, I mean, I'll try to look her up just doing a Google search. I believe she might work for a record label, someplace in Hollywood. But let me see if I could find that information because Kathy is awesome. I would totally call Kathy. And I wouldn't even come at her all strong. I would just call her like, hey, Kathy, I was thinking about you. So I looked you up. I found your number. How you been? What's going on with you? And just start taking it from there. And like I said, Kathy's got no loyalty to any of those guys. They were never very good to her. You know, one of, you know did, I ever tell you that, did I ever tell you that one of our bartenders went home one night and killed herself? No. What, what happened there? Her name was Jennifer Justice, and, you know, we don't really know what happened. Um, she had just gotten married. She married this dude. He was Dixon or some shit like that, and she was working at the club, and she went home, and nobody seen her for a few days, and I forget who went up to her house, but they found her. She hung herself. That's terrible. It was very terrible. And uh, nobody really understood why, um, unless maybe somebody did understand why. And I just wasn't privy to that conversation. I'm also going to get you, I have to get you all, because I never posted them all. I got to get you the text messages uh, that Court Fister sent me. Court Fister was the guy responsible for the security system that night, the security videotape at the Viper Room. And he goes on to talk about yeah, we made a file transfer. You weren't important enough to have it. You fucked up. You weren't there. And it's like, dude, you're bragging to me because you got a videotape of this guy getting killed? Yeah. Oh, right. You're talking about that recording again. Yeah. It's not, re- yeah, the, the VCR tape. Here, here you got River Phoenix outside. He's dying. You got Big Ed Shaw who goes out there to try to help him. You got Joaquin Phoenix and Samantha Mathis on the payphone right there um, calling for paramedics. Ed turns around and says, tells Mike Farrell to go inside and get the VCH tape, VCR tape. Mike Farrell goes inside and comes back and says it's gone. Uh, Adam Duritz, worker. What? Adam Duritz used to work there too. Yeah, Adam Duritz, uh, he bartended for us. He, and again, these people didn't need to bartend for us. I mean, these were already big celebrities. They just used to like to do it just for fun down at the downstairs bar. That's why it was called the Crow's Nest. Because Adam Duritz was in the Counting Crows. And then I forget his name, Chris something or another. He was a singer for the Black Crows. And the two of them would go down there and bartend. So did Christina, um, Christina Applegate, um, Carmen Electra. Um, you know, this was kind of like their thing. And it was just so. But all right. Applegate doesn't know any about any of that. Christina. So Christina Applegate doesn't know anything about this, right? Though. Oh, Christina Applegate. Hello. Sorry, you're breaking up a bit. Oh, Christina Applegate. Yeah, but there's no way in the world Christina Applegate would ever cooperate. So you think Applegate does know something? Oh, I sure. She's seen a lot of shit. She was around all the time. She was with Sal all the time. Um, she was very cl- close with Johnny. So no, Christina Applegate was like a fly on the wall in that place. She was there any. She was there ten minutes more a day. She could have been a chair. And you know she she's not well. She's another wacko herself. Christina, these people are not normal. None of these people in Hollywood are normal. Don't watch movies anymore. They're all bad. And you know there's something else. 
Um, isn't this Aquaman movie? Is that a Stanley? Is that Mar? Is that Marvel? Uh, Aaron, Aquaman. He's, yeah, these Marvel movies. That, DC. Oh, it's DC because I don't know what the scandal was, but there was some kind of scandal between Stanley and Johnny, and I don't really know what it's all about. I wasn't something I was interested in because to me, Stan Lee was just some comic book guy and I didn't even want to hear it. Oh, I see. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. All right. Let me give you a little bit. Let me, uh, I'm going to Sorry, it's breaking up. So. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. I'm going to go say thank you to Mario in front of Paul Baresi. So Paul Baresi thinks he gave me all those emails. Okay. And also... Keep looking for other recordings with Waldman specifically. I, I will now that we're here and I can sit and I'm not bouncing around in the car. I'm like, you know, I'm like an old guy. If the car's moving too fast, I can't concentrate. If the air conditioner's on, I can't hear. I'm an old man, Christina. So, yeah. all, right. all right. Hey, I got a question. Your mom was a socialite. Who was your mom? Uh, Victoria Taft. Would I know her from anywhere? I I don't know. She was around the Roxy and the Rainbow, but I don't think she, they never went to the. I don't think they ever went to the Viper Room. I lived at the Rainbow. I was at the Rainbow. Rainbow six nights a week. Well, she was there in the seventies. Oh, okay. You're so young. I figured she would probably only be about my age. Yeah, my mom was born in nineteen fifty one. Okay, so she's not that much older than me. But if I her name, is there going to be a photograph or anything of her on Google? Yeah, I sent it to you earlier, I think. Oh, all right. Let me take a look, and I'm going to try to Google it, and I'll tell you maybe your mom looks familiar. Uh, yeah, she also uh, she knew Lori Maddox. She was a, a publicist for The Doors for their movies. When she your mom like, was? Yeah, she helped with the publicity of that. Yeah. You ever heard that? You ever heard? Oh, you mean the Doors movie? The Doors, yeah, they the had, they had movies. The Doors, the band. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, you ever heard the name Danny Sugarman? No. Danny Sugarman. Danny Sugarman. If you Google him, they called him the Fifth Door. Um, he's the guy that pretty much made them together. He wrote that book. Um, I think it was called Electric Wonderland or something like that. He married, again, this is before your time, you recognize these names, but he married this woman named Fawn Hall. She used to work for Oliver North, and she was part of the whole Iran-Contra hearings. Um, those were good friends of mine. I used to hang out with them. The guy that owns every single song that the Doors ever made, he owns all the rights today. His name is Jeffrey Jample. He was a good friend of mine back in the day. So you see, it's a small world. Yeah, I know it's a very small world, but unfortunately, it's very I'm small. Avoiding them because Lori got angry at me. So who I'm is Lori Maddox? That name sounds familiar. Who is she? Rock groupie. Let me look her up too. Jimmy Page. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, she Jimmy. was part. Of... Oh. So she was probably, who's that other broad? She used to come around all the time. Pamela DeBars. She was probably part of that crowd. It was these rock groupies from like the 70s. Uh, uh, Marianne Faithful, the one that had the, uh, Liv Tyler's mom. Those were all a bunch of rock groupies. i got to look it up right now. Because and then we're friends with Pamela Bryant and Michelle uh, Diamond, too. Who are they? Those names sound familiar Pamela too. Bryant is play, uh, was a playmate and an actress model, so that's how they got into the Playboy Mansion. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. All right, let me look I'm at this not, stuff. You know, I wasn't raised around that because I got isolated, but you know, I turned Good. around again. But because of hey. recent things, they, you know, Lori was angry because she worked for Christy sister is like, oh, well, he didn't do this, doesn't even know him, so. Right, um, right, like, right. And so well, I, I'm going to, I block, so. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Christina, thank God you were isolated from all this stuff, and thank God you didn't grow up in that kind of environment, know all these people, 
because there's nothing good there. There's nothing good. I don't know. I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. I mean, no, you, you, and who knows? You might be out there running around Hollywood snorting coke and doing stupid things. Yeah, there's a lot of that around. But, um, so it's Bruce very, and Susie are married. Bruce is married to Susie. And look, Bruce Whitkin is married to Suzanne, and Johnny was married to Lori. Lori and Suzanne are sisters. Their 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 last name is Allison. Uh, if you look up Lori Depp, oh, and that was another thing. I don't know who said it. I don't know if it was just one of these weird internet things where people were saying. Johnny paid Lori millions of dollars to sign an NDA and all that kind of shit. That was all a bunch of bullshit, too, because Johnny never gave her a damn thing. Um, right before he met Amber, um, Lori was having very bad financial trouble, and the only thing Johnny did for her, and it was just kind of like a here, kind of throw it in her face thing, he paid off her house. He was very upset with her. Because years before, she sold their wedding pictures to the uh, tabloids. They were only like 17 years old when they got married. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Let me relax for a few minutes. Well, they did say, I can say, well, they did claim that she got a settlement for him leaving racist and angry voice uh, voicemails or something. Well, Johnny used to get into it a lot with. I have to go to the bathroom. I got to. Sorry, you're breaking up a bit. I'll catch you still a little bit, Christina. Bye. 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 Stop. Why is that in front of me?